Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and there's something interesting starting to kind of float around on the internet a little bit. The story behind it is your typical, uh, you know, friend of a friend and whatever, but I saw two separate sources on this, and I did hear word of this a day before the bands came out. So, it didn't have much credibility at the time. Obviously, people send me just batshit crazy stuff all the time. It's usually speculation of them trying to trick me into reporting on something that's blatantly fake so they can all laugh. I'm not that stupid. But the fact that this information was allegedly based on a document that's allegedly from a group that allegedly came from someone else that allegedly works at Wizards or whatever. Okay, cool, typical. But the fact that it was like 40, 50, 60% correct and came out ahead of time? Eh. So, just think whatever you want about this. But, uh... Basically, the band announcement was supposed to look a little bit different in its original draft. So as much as I hate reporting on rumors, um, just, you know, this may or may not be true. Just keep that in mind. Allegedly, in Popper, they were only going to ban Mystic Sanctuary. We all know that they ended up also banning Expedition Map. So, you know, good. Tron sucks. In Historic, they were only going to ban Burning Tree Emissary, and there was no mention of Nexus of Fate. And here is where you punch through your monitor. In Modern, they were going to ban Astrolabe, but they were also going to ban Bogart Harbinger. Allegedly, the reason was that M21 brought in the card Conspicuous Snoop, which we all knew was a potential gigantic, you know, bomb for every format. And you mix Conspicuous Snoop with Bogart Harbinger, and that was some kind of horrible combo. And I could see that. That actually does make sense. That seems like it would cascade or it would make a combo too consistent. I'm not sure what it was, but it, it's bad. Allegedly, um, by the way, in Historic, the reason for banning Burning Tree Emissary wasn't Gruel Dex or whatever. It was um, Winota, actually. So then they decided to ban Winota, but then also still ban Burning Tree Emissary. But I guess like Burning Tree plus Winota equals like a turn three win too often because you get like it comes in for free and then you get mana out of it so you can cast the rest of your hand. I could see it. Uh, Mystic Sanctuary was banned for basically the reason they said. And like I suspected, I guess the problem was flickering the cards, so then you could bring a, a, a card back over and over and over. I assume that's what the problem was, but the, the ban uh, announcement never actually said that. So now we move on to Pioneer. Here we go. I guess instead of or in addition to banning Oath of Nyssa, they were going to ban Thassa's Oracle and Dig Through Time. Uh, there's something called Inverter Oracle. Uh, so everybody's bitching about Inverter. I don't know what it is, but I guess Oracle is like if you run out of cards, you win. So I guess if you nuke your entire library with Inverter or whatever, and then, yeah, I, I could see that. So they were going to do something about it and then decided not to. Also, Thassa's Oracle is uh, used in some deck called Luris Breach. I assume that's Luris plus Underworld Breach. I don't know, whatever. Like I said, I don't play it. I guess, like, it was Breach or Chronic Flooding, and then you'd, like, use those to empty your deck and then win. Yeah, there's, like, a 52 land deck in, uh, what, Historic that, that does something with Thassa's Oracle? Yeah, Thassa's Oracle needs to be banned. Now it's in a third deck. I mean, just, just get rid of that bullshit. In fact, ban Jace too. Anything that says run out of cards in your library and win, what good do you think would come from that, Wizards? Ban everything with phrasing that even resembles that. Uh, Dig Through Time was banned in, like, a bunch of other formats, so they, I guess, just decided to pull the plug on this in Pioneer. Except they didn't. They reversed their decision on both of these for some dumb reason. So, I don't know. I find this leak a little bit hard to believe, but, like I said, they got a lot of the cards right. So this could have been player written, and then somebody shared in a group said they got it from their uncle who works at Wizards or whatever, and it's all bullshit. I don't know. Hard to say. But they were pretty accurate with the ones they got right. I'm just throwing that out there. So believe what you want to believe. But uh, yeah, I guess they were going to do something about Inverter. They were going to do something about Dig Through Time. And they were going to do something about Thassa's Oracle. Then they uh, didn't. Oh, and the Conspicuous Spy. They're going to fix all those. And then they're just like, oh, that's too many cards to man or something. I don't know. I don't know what the hell their problem is. Or this is fake. I don't know. Believe what you want to believe. But uh, just thought it'd be interesting for you guys. So just some fun little information for you to brighten up your day. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next video.